Many photographs can be improved by increasing contrast and fine-tuning brightness, and Levels gives you one way to do that in Photoshop. Here's an example of a photo that has a pretty common problem. It looks dull or lacking in contrast. In other words, there isn't much difference between the lightest tones and the darkest tones in the photo, and it's slightly lacking in overall brightness, too. To fix both problems, let's apply a Levels Adjustment Layer. Start by going to the Layers panel and making sure that the layer that contains the photo is selected. Then, create a Levels Adjustment Layer by going to the bottom of the Layers panel and clicking this New Adjustment Layer icon and choosing Levels from the pop-up menu. That creates a Levels Adjustment Layer just above the photo layer. With your Levels Adjustment Layer highlighted in the Layers panel, take a look at the Properties panel that popped open. If you don't see your Properties panel, then go up to the Window menu at the top of the screen and choose Properties. Take a look at this chart in the Properties panel. It's called a histogram, which is a grayscale illustration of all the possible tonal values in an image. The far left of this scale is for pure black tones, and the far right is for pure white tones, and the area in between is for a range of gray tones. This white hill illustrates where the actual tones in this photo fall on the scale. The hill is really made up of vertical bars that are packed tightly together, with each bar representing a particular tonal value in the photo. So in this photo, we see no bars on the right, which means there are no bright white tones in the image. And we see no bars on the left, which means there are no dark black tones either. And the tallest bars are packed pretty tightly together toward the middle of the scale, which means there's a narrow range of mostly middle gray tones in the image, which is why the photo looks so flat or lacking in contrast. Ideally, we'd like there to be a wider range of tonal values across this tonal scale including some pure whites and some dark blacks. The good news is that we can get that result by moving the black slider and the white slider here underneath the histogram. Let's start by dragging the white slider over to the left until it's just under this hill of tonal values, and that pushes the brightest pixels in the photo to pure white with no detail. Now normally you don't want to clip important bright details out of a photo, so here's a little trick that you can use to visualize exactly which pixels you're clipping as you move this slider. Let's drag the white slider back over to the right and do it again, this time holding down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on Windows as you drag the white slider to the left. At first you'll see some spots of color, and then you'll start to see some white spots. It's the white spots you're interested in because those show you where the photo is being clipped to pure white with no detail. You want to drag this slider until you see just a few spots of white. So if you get too many white spots, you can ease the white slider back over to the right so you're not losing too much highlight detail. Now do the same thing with the black slider. You can hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows as you drag the black slider over to the right. And when you see some small spots of black, you'll know which pixels you're pushing to pure black with no detail. Now take a look at the photo, and you'll notice that it looks more contrasty, or less dull than when we started. And if you want, you can fine-tune the results visually. So I'd like a little less contrast, so I'm going to back the black slider off to the left a bit. And I don't want to clip as many white areas, so I'm going to drag the white slider back to the right a bit. The photo looks better, but it's still a little dark for my taste. To fix the overall brightness of the photo, you can drag the gray slider here under the histogram. I want this photo to be a little lighter than where it started, so I'm going to take it to the left to just about there. I'm going to click the eye icon at the bottom of the Properties panel to compare this final after view with the before view. And back to the after view again. To finish up, save the photo in a format that retains layers, like the PSD or TIFF format. That's how to use levels to enhance a dull photo by improving both its contrast and its brightness.